Jumbo, everybody. We're here at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. We're gonna have another little staycation. Should be a fun time. The big sell of Animal Kingdom Lodge is that they have animals, hence the name. The hotel itself is just spectacular looking. Like, look at that architecture. Second floor. Just made it to our room. We have a pretty cool view of the animals out here. Big comfy bed. There's a pull-out couch. TV. Pretty cool room. Uh, but let's take a look at some of these animals out here. That's the highlight. That's like the, the whole point of staying here is you get the view of the animals. Some little animals back here in this corner. Thank you so much. Thank right you. Thank you. The rain just stopped, and as you can see, this place is pretty darn empty. There's a tree of life looking good as ever. Nice and empty. Everyone has their masks on. Five minute wait for the safari ride. So empty. This is a bunny rabbit. I've just never seen a theme park this empty before. It's crazy. They have barriers between every single row. John, hello everyone. My name is Madison, and I'll be your safari guide through the Harambe Wildlife Preserve. Now, just a reminder, it does get bumpy out here, so make sure you do stay seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the truck at all times. If you guys look above your heads, you're going to see an animal spotting guide. That's going to be most animals we'll get a chance to see today. May not get to see all of them, but we do usually have good luck. They do get their name from the color their back turns during mating season. Both the males and the females will sit on their eggs for approximately 30 days. And they are the only bird that can secrete their own sunscreen. There's a really good view of that hippo to the left side. If you see hippos moving around in the water, they're actually going to go to the very bottom. There's a baobab tree, also known as the upside down tree. Now my favorite thing about the savannas, the animals here actually shape their own environment. So the giraffes are going to eat the leaves from the top of the trees. That's going to give the sun room to shine down to the grass below. It's going to help that grass grow and feed smaller animals such as the antelope. Now the females are actually going to be the more dominant ones with the spotted hyenas. They're going to be slightly larger than the males and have a slightly lighter fur color coat than the males. We're slow by this ankle, cattle his horns in the rope just a little bit. There's some more spring back to the right side and ankle and cattle. She's just munching on some trees right there. That group of giraffes is called a tower, so that is a tower of giraffes. Whereas the black rhino we saw earlier has more of a pointed upper lip. 
and they are very large animals, but they can still run up to about 35 miles per hour. This is remarkable. Harambe Market usually slammed people everywhere. Not a soul to be found. Expedition Everest looking fantastic. Beautiful sky behind it. Disney recently announced that the Rivers of Light nighttime show is permanently closed. Here you can see the amphitheater built for the show and they still have all the show equipment back here. There's a plethora of spotlights. Here's a projector. Over here's another projector. Be interesting to see what happens to all this stuff. It has a pretty intricate infrastructure. They spent a lot of money on it. It's kind of a shame that the show is closed. Gone a little bit too soon. This is what used to be the Rivers of Light amphitheater. It's absolutely massive. So hopefully they come up with a replacement within the next 10 years or so. You got to say it's going to be a little bit because of the financial setbacks due to the virus. But maybe one day there'll be another nighttime show in this huge space. They've taken a lot of entertainment and they put them on boats in the Discovery River. It makes it so guests could still see the entertainment, but without having to get too close. There's a whole bunch going on in Dinorama. Whew. The Wild Mouse Coaster in the back of Dinoland here has recently been announced as permanently closed, will not be reopening. And they have a wall up over here, but there's really no uh, permanent changes. Looks the same. The main sign up there is still up, but it is permanently closed, will not be reopening. The attraction sign is still up. Safety warnings are there, but it is walled off. And the ride vehicles have been removed from the track. No ride vehicles to be seen anywhere. They are all gone. It alters a homing signal and that's not good. Oh, and one more thing. Those locked coordinates. <laughs> We're in. Now, here's the drill. You follow the homing signal to the Iguanodon, then I'll enlarge the transport field, and boom, you're back with one additional passenger extra large. This is Seeker. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the Iguanodon, and get out before that asteroid hits. Let's roll! gonna wrap up our day here at animal kingdom just got back from animal kingdom now we're sitting out here watching these animals roam around kind of cool there's an ostrich over there zebras over here at the left hand side really just beautiful day out though pretty nice to be sitting over here on the balcony We're on our way now to find the pool, get some snacks, and check out what just what the pool's like here at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. Look, they have this little splash pad over here. Nice sky, sunset. And I'm surprised the pool's actually pretty busy. There's so many people here at the pool tonight. Water slide is open, lights are on. Like a regular Walt Disney World day. And look, everyone is socially distant. Everyone's in their own groups. Everyone's making their own space. 
Overall, fantastic time here tonight at the Animal Kingdom Lodge pool. Everyone's out here, they're watching the giraffes go by. They're going home to their pen for the night. Pretty cool stuff. So we left the pool, Animal Kingdom Lodge. We saw some animals and all the restaurants are booked up. So we're on our way to the Contemporary Resort. We're gonna check out California Grill on the rooftop of the Contemporary. Should be pretty cool. We're waiting for our Uber right now. And now uh, we'll continue this video. Once we get to the Contemporary Hotel, we'll go up on the elevator to the roof. Should be awesome. I'm really excited. We just made it up to the second floor of the Contemporary. Oh, look who it is. It's Cassie. But um, we just checked in. We're about to go upstairs into the elevator to the very top floor. <laughs> just made it to our table. As always, they have the QR code menu. And looking outside. Honestly, I... I don't see anything too cool. I don't even know which direction I'm looking. Um, actually, to the far left, which we can't see because of the reflection. Actually, maybe we can. No, you can't. <laughs> That's the Orlando Eye. That's going to be the Orlando Star Flyer, the tall one. To the right will be the Orlando Eye, the yellow thing. As we go down, you got International Drive. We have our server's reflection. Then looking out the window here, I don't know what we're looking at. We got the garden wing of the Contemporary, Bay Lake to our left, and then just a bunch of lights. The bread service out here. They got us some dipping sauce. I don't know what it is, but pretty good bread with a pretty good view. Cassie over here, she ordered some sushi. Pretty good looking stuff. I got the blackened grouper. Got some tomatoes to go, or potatoes to go with it. Look at this nice piece of grouper meat here. We'll dive right in. Really That's really good. Lightly blackened so it's not too spicy. It has a nice like crisp sear to it. That's good. Really good on the grouper. Oh wow. Oh, that is the Magic Kingdom right there. Just woke up from a good night of sleep here at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. There's a bunch of animals out here now. Let's take a look at them. Take a look at this big cow. Munching on some grass, and then over here, some little smaller animals, all munching away. The zebra's over there sleeping. We just checked out of Animal Kingdom Lodge. 